Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This will be a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Having a look to see who is coming forward as your next relationship partner. Now please remember this is a general reading. I will try to be as specific as I can be, uh, but it's not going to apply to everyone. Nonetheless, it'll be interesting to see what comes up for you in the cards, dear Virgo. I must remind you as well, there is an extended version to this general reading as well. The extended version is going to look at the kind of connection you'll potentially share, what's bringing you together, and anything else we can sort of learn about this relationship here, Virgo. Guys, stay tuned. Let's have a look and see what comes up for Virgo, your next major love relationship. Who is coming forward and how are they presenting themselves? Okay, you've got the Priestess of Wisdom here. Okay, you've got someone very life experienced and life learned that is coming forward here for a relationship. Um, I feel like there's a lot of transformation around this person or they're going to bring a lot of transformation into your life. And I say that because the beautiful butterfly is pictured here. So it's a symbol of metamorphosis coming out of one shell, sprouting, um, being and, and being to their full potential here so um it could be you or it could be them but nonetheless this is, a, this is a very auspicious sign here now the priestess of wisdom rules the date september 30th to october 27th so you're really looking at the period of libra and scorpio so this person might have traces of libra or scorpio in their natal birth chart or they might have a uh, uh, might have personality traits or characteristics uh, of a Libra and a Scorpio as well here. Um, but look, I do feel like this person is um, quite intellectual. I feel like this person is always wanting to learn and adapt to things. It could be that they're quite adaptable. I feel like they're very understanding. They could be quite patient and tolerant. Uh, it's just in their nature possibly to be this way, uh, Virgo. I feel like you have someone who's going to inspire you in a lot of ways as well, teach you things. Um, they could be in a position where they teach other people uh, mentally, emotionally, physically. They could be in a position where they're quite senior, okay, or they're quite experienced in something that they do uh, in their life. But let's have a look and see what other details we can gauge about this person. Okay, the Justice card, uh, Five of Pentacles and Six of Cups. So the Justice card rules the sign of Libra here. So that theme of Libra has come up uh, a couple of times for you, Virgo. But the Justice card can point to someone um, involved in the justice system, someone who is big on relationships or has had a lot of relationships in their life. Um, it could be someone who's quite fair or big on equality. Uh, they're, they're, they're all about giving, but they love to see people giving back. Okay, that, that um, I feel like that's very rewarding for them, Virgo. Also with the Justice card, they could be uh, quite um, by the books. Okay, could be quite righteous. Uh, they always like to play fair. I don't feel like they have any sneaky or suspicious energy to them. Uh, with the Justice card, I feel like uh, they always know something about boundaries or limits, so they could be very good with boundaries and limits and things like that. But um, karmic energy coming forward here, Libra energy is uh, a, a sign of union and partnership, so I feel like this person is definitely wanting a relationship. Uh, for some of you, this person could be attached, okay, in, in some way, maybe uh, legally uh, not divorced yet, maybe they're separated, maybe they're seeing someone new, uh, maybe they're still not over their ex. There could be some sort of attachment or bond that they may be experiencing when the two of you do meet or do connect. Uh, but it is air energy, so I feel like they could be quite um, in their head a lot. Uh, Librans tend to be quite fun loving, quite outgoing, so it might be that this person possesses those characteristics. Moving forward, you have the Five of Pentacles, what this person does, and it is Earth Energy, which is Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. The Five of Pentacles um, coming up here can often indicate a period of neglect or not seeing something for what it really is. Uh, sometimes it can be ignorance, or sometimes it's choosing to turn a blind eye to certain behavior or situations. Sometimes it's also us feeling shut out or left out in some way. Now, for some of you, this person may be healing from something 
um, or trying to pick themselves up from something. It could be a heartbreak, it could be a redundancy, it could be a loss, it could be a change in lifestyle, it could be a health diagnosis. There might be something here with the Five of Pentacles that looms large, okay? You can see it looming large and pictured here. Um, but they cho they're choosing not to see it potentially. It could also show someone who helps people, okay, if they're part of law, legalities, government organizations, maybe they help people with their troubles, their neglect, their circumstances as well, which can um, coincide with that giving or rewarding nature that they may have to them. But it can definitely indicate compatibility, okay, between the both of you, because if they have earth energy, um, it will definitely complement you. So in one way, they are very grounded. Um, in some ways, they might not be necessarily as good with money as you are. Um, and if it's not them, then they help people with their money or asset troubles or something uh, along these lines here. I feel like there's a lot of butterflies in the card. Okay, butterfly seems to be a theme here. The butterfly here, the butterflies here and here. Uh, yes, it's it's a message of transformation and change. It's also it can be seen as a messenger. So maybe this person is really good with communication or bringing out the best in people or helping people transform their lives. Um, they have a very strong influence about them that people naturally take to Virgo. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they're uh, put in leadership roles or they're role models or ambassadors for something. Um, and this would this would definitely make sense with with uh, what the butterfly can represent. So there may be a connection here. They also have the Six of Cups coming up. Now, for some of you, this could indicate this is a person from your past because there's something that might be familiar about them. You might have been friends before. You might have dated. You might have been married. Maybe you have had a child together. Um, maybe you've lived some sort of connection before with this person. Now, if you haven't, they may feel very familiar. They may act like someone you used to know, whether it be a friend, whether it be an ex, um, or if that's not the case, it could even point to a past life connection. The children in the cards can also indicate this person has children or grandchildren. Uh, perhaps they're wanting children in their life, or they could be quite maternalistic or paternalistic, even a case of baby fever at the moment as well. Um, but the Six of Cups is quite a sweet card, so I feel like there's a sweet innocence. You know, the child... Um, isn't a bit of a fantasy land here making a tea party. So I feel like this person could be creatively inclined. They could be big on fantasy, storytelling, animation. Uh, again, quite an imaginative sense or artistic, okay, artistically in inclined or quite talented. May work with children or be surrounded by children. Uh, but I feel like they could be something about dreaming and fantasies. They could even have... Um, uh, they, they could be an empath and be quite intuitive. And I say that because the Six of Cups is governed by these fishes swimming upstream, which can be Piscean energy. So there could be a link um, to the sign of Pisces here. Something about children, childhood, inner child. They could be quite youthful, okay, quite fun, quite upbeat. Uh, sometimes they like to live in the moment or maybe... They've never used to live in the moment and just be present and, and, and appreciate everything for what it is, but they've wised up uh, in their way of uh, perceiving life and, and things that come to them, Virgo. So you might notice these sorts of things, um, but there's an, a, a purity to them with the child. I definitely feel like they're pure of heart, pure of mind, righteous by the books comes to mind. Someone who doesn't like to hurt people or doesn't like to be the bearer of bad news. Uh, that could also be the case, okay? I will leave your reading at that, Virgo. So thank you for watching. I do hope it's been interesting and you've enjoyed it. Uh, as I've mentioned, I do have your extended version for what kind of connection you'll have, the relationship that you'll share uh, for your next major relationship tarot uh, extended version, which you'll find below in the show more section. Otherwise, thank you again for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. It really does mean a lot to me, Virgo. So uh, much love. Thank you so much for all your support. And hopefully we shall be in touch soon. 